Hello everyone, welcome to Kakao's Hideout. I am Kakao Konemi. So for a change, I would like to con I would like to do a video reading. Um, I mean, I would like to do a choose a number video reading. So I would like to take a rest on the um, zodiac signs, the 2020 forecast, and the Tagalog uh, timeless 30 day forecast. So um, the topic for this choose a number reading will be who's thinking of you and why, okay? So I have the dice here, let's roll them. <clears throat> I like to start with the red one. So it's five plus five, so 10. So choose a number between one to 10. So the one that you, your intuition is telling you Just a moment choose whatever your intuition is telling you to choose so choose a number between 1 to 10 so I choose number 5 okay <clears throat> let's see I'm going to use the Sasha Fenton deck um, and it's going to be a three card reading. First card will be the description of the person and why is this person thinking about you. And second um, card will be the best thing to do about the situation. Third card will be the possible outcome if you're going to do the feist. And uh, if I need any clarifications, I'm going to choose one from the right or right tarot. Okay? Now let's proceed. Number one. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> For the people who chose number one, who's thinking about you right now and why? Choose uh, number one, three of swords reversed. Someone that rejected you before and you're you've moved on from the sadness that that rejection caused you this is someone who maybe was ignoring you before and um, let's uh, clarify three of swords reversed maybe an ex maybe a boss co-worker, anyone can reject you, and anyone can re reject um, your ideas, your opinions. Let's see why. Death reversed. So it seems... This is an asshole. Anyway, excuse me. Um, it seems like this person is not happy that you've moved on from them because they're not done torturing you yet <laughs> death card reversed it's like i'm having fun i'm still i still want to torture you i still want to make you sad i still want to make it clear to you that you're nothing that you are useless that your your ideas are rejectable and um, they're not acceptable to me but then you moved on, and they're not happy about it. They're not done yet. They don't want to close that chap that chapter yet. And unfortunately for them, you've moved on. What an asshole! Boy. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is the person who's thinking about you now, and they hate it that you're no longer in the situation that they would like to cage you in. They're not done yet. They still want to torture you, yet you're no longer giving a fudge about whatever it is they say, whatever it is that they want to do to you to make you feel bad about yourself. No, that's a good thing. You moving on will be the torture for them. That's a taste of their own medicine, I guess. Now, <clears throat> what's the best thing to do about this person? King of Pentacles reversed. If you do not know the details, don't do anything about it. 
So if you've been uh, if you have been hearing a lot of things about this person, maybe you're being talked about by this person. Maybe he's asking around about you or she is asking around about you. If you do not know the exact details, especially if it's just a delivered message or delivered rumor from someone who just happened to have heard the story but not the exact um, verbatim of the of how this person said what they said, don't do anything about it. You've moved on. Stay that way simple. Now if you're going to do just that possible outcome, that you're just going to ignore this person, Knight of Cups reversed. This is someone who's only concentrating on their pleasure. They do not need tension, they do not need problems. So this can be you. It may be negative because the the Knight of, uh, Knight of Cups reversed is an indication that there is an issue that needs to be tackled, but they are taking their sweet time not to tackle it. But again, the advice is if you do not have the details, the juice, the tea, then there's nothing you can do about it. So don't. And then you may become this, but that's a situation that you're in. Or maybe, if you're going to have another scenario in this reading, you're being advised not to do anything, not to be, not to react on anything, especially if you do, do not have the details, or if you do not have a plan B in case you're wrong. If you're going to be that, then possible outcome is you won't have to require yourself to sneak away from a situation that you got yourself into. Because the thing is, King of Pentacles is someone, a uh, King of Pentacles reverse is someone who doesn't know the details, doesn't have a plan B, plan C, plan D. I have to do something for the sake of doing something, but I don't actually know what I'm going to do. That's what the King of Swords reverse, I mean, King of Pentacles reverse is all about. Now, if you're going to be that, rushing into a situation without a plan, without the details needed, then you get yourself in trouble. Then you will be this. Cowardly sneaking away out of the situation. And it will be bad for your reputation. But if you're going to listen to this advice, you know, you don't have the details. You don't know if whatever it is that you've heard is true if it's correct, then you won't have to weasel away from a situation that you don't like or you accidentally get yourself into. There's no need for that. There. So there, ignore this person, whoever this may be. Okay, now let's proceed to number two. Who's thinking of you, number two? And one. <clears throat> Who's thinking of you and why? Okay, this card wants to come up. The fool. Maybe he or she is a literal fool. Someone who just jumps into a situation without knowing anything about it. Or this can be someone who's an Aries. Someone who just got out from. Uh, Boring, restrictive situation or environment and they're finally out of their cage and they're ready to explore and travel and do the things that they like. Maybe that's a description of the person. Now, what, you, what do you need to do about this? What do you need to do about this? Ten of Wands, reversed. Get rid of the burden with whatever this fool person, this foolish person is giving you. So maybe the reason why this person is thinking about you is because 
finally, finally he can get out of a situation that restricts them from doing something that they like. Or maybe finally they're out of the country. Maybe finally whoever's controlling them from, I mean, for years is no longer with them. May God forbid. And um, it seems like there's a routine that this person finally got out of. And now they're thinking of you. Maybe to invite you out into their adventure. Maybe... You're the first person that they know can guide them to their next adventure. Again, take it wherever it resonates. But what you need to do is get rid, uh, get rid of the burden that this person is going to give you. Maybe this person is a first time, uh, first time traveler. He or she had never been out of the country, and you've been out of the country for so many times and. This person would like to drag you along. <laughs> it's a burden for you, maybe because this person is a very impulsive one. He seems to, as what I've said before, jump into a situation that they don't actually know about. So say no if you don't like to travel with this person or if you don't like to be in an, in an adventure with this person. And... Um, if you're going to do just that, possible outcome is Ten of Cups. Security. You won't have to worry about this person. You won't have to worry about yourself as well. And bottom of the card, Page of Cups. It seems like you will have the chance to, or no, you will be able to provide this person a chance to learn the ropes by himself and be hopeful that things are going to be alright in the future and you will be able to be on your emotional, emotionally calm self because you know that you've taught this page what they have to, what they need to learn. So yeah. So maybe say no for now and then try to educate them first. Maybe this one is someone like, I, I'm sensing like a bull out of the rodeo, you know, when they're trying to buck and, and try to bump into the, the, the their cage to get out of the, the their restriction. Maybe that's the energy that they have right now, they're too robust, they're too excited, they're too eager to to be out of their usual environment and it's not practical if you let them. That's why the Page of Cups, uh, page of Cups is in, under the deck, to remind you that you have to contain that energy first. You have to calm this person down in order for you to teach them well what they need to learn about whatever goal that they have in mind that they are foolishly excited about about so there that's for you number two and um if you like the part of the video please like share comment and subscribe now let's proceed to <clears throat> the people who chose number three who's thinking of you Who's thinking about you right now, and why? One thinking about your Queen of Cups. Um, I would like to say Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but I've read something about the the order of the suits. I mean, of the court cards. So Page, of course, it's the youngest, and then Knight is. Older than the page, and queen is the oldest of them. Queen or king is the oldest of all, all of them. Now, first water sign in the calendar will be Pisces. So that's the queen or king of cups. Second will be Cancer, so that will be the knight of cups. And the youngest of 
the water signs will be Scorpio because uh, it's October, November, November. So that's the Page of Cups. So in this case, there's a big possibility that the person thinking about you, number three, is a Pisces. And let's see why. Why are they thinking about you? Eight of Pentacles reversed. Maybe because they need money or there is something that they're working hard on. But nothing's happening. Or maybe there is gain but it's not as big as they ex expected. And then... Okay, this two flipped. So first card to flip is six of wands and eight of cups reversed. So maybe you've been in the same situation and they know about it, that you've been in this exact situation like what they are in right now. And you've walked away from whatever sad or disappointing situation that you've been through. You got over it, and now you're successful. And they are seeing it. And it seems like this person is thinking about you maybe to seek advice or to ask for help. How did you do that? How will you become? How did you become this? This victorious uh, six of wands here. So if in case you don't know what, why is this about six of, I mean, victory? Six of wands is about a soldier from battle or war and they're arriving at the the kingdom they're arriving back home you know how they are being uh welcomed by the people in their kingdom as the victorious um uh, it's like their victory is the victory of the the whole kingdom and um they're being welcomed and this is the, what is it and this is what what it's all about so yeah, maybe this person, this Pisces person, may be a woman or a man. Again, disregard the gender, concentrate on the energy. But I'm sensing that this is more of a feminine person, since it's a queen. This can also be a man with uh, a, a, a very effeminate male, or a very effeminate guy. So maybe this person is thinking about you because he or she saw you... Being in the same situation that he or she is in right now. But you've learned to cope up with it. And now they're trying their best to maybe try to imitate your tactics. Or do something about their situation. Based on how you did it yourself in the past. Just a moment. My ring light is old, so it's no longer that bright. I have to light some candles instead. Let's see if I can turn this off. Uh, no. No. That one's still bright. Anyway, <clears throat> let's see what's the best thing to do about this person. I'm not seeing any bad intentions here. Seems like this person just wants to seek help from you. So, the best thing to do about this is Ten of Cups upright. Provide emotional security for this person. Because it seems like this person is also willing to provide the same thing. The security and the connection for you. And to clarify the Ten of Cups upright, it's Three of Wands reversed. So, maybe this person is feeling like he or she is a failure, but you have to encourage this person to try again. 
after a failure, just learn from your mistakes, whatever it is that you've learned that you think you should continue to do and take note of the things that you sh you think you should not do again. So that's what you need to do. Remind this person to be, um, to learn from their mistakes and provide emotional security um, if they're going to seek help from you. Now, if you're going to do just that possible outcome, it's Eight of Pentacles reversed. They will be required to, or they might consider um, learning a new skill, training themselves to do something that they they cannot imagine themselves do to do, or maybe there is some sort of, for some reason, I'm sensing a Four of Cups and energy here. There is something that they don't want to do or they think they don't need to learn, but you'll be able to encourage them to try to learn it. Move on from whatever past energies that that skill um, might remind them of. And yeah, try to aim for results. Seven of Wands is waiting for the results to come up. Seven of Wands reversed, there will be results. All they have to do is just move on from their type of mentality that had been maybe instilled in them from the since their childhood. And yeah, they will be they will be able to learn a lot from you. And they seem to be very, very eager to listen to whatever it is you're going to say as an advice. I don't see any bad intentions here. They just want to learn. So yeah. That's for you, number three. And the person who's thinking about you. If you like the part of the video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And let's proceed to number four. Interesting. 20 to 22. Okay, <clears throat> for the people who chose number four, who's thinking of them and why? The Hermit reversed. This is someone who lost someone. Maybe a loved one died. Maybe there is something very important in their life that they lost. Maybe a business that had been in the family for years. Maybe a pet that had been in the family for years. An heirloom, a property that had been in the family for years, whatever. There is someone or something very important from this person. I mean, for this person that has been taken away. Maybe through death or otherwise. Now, <clears throat> let's see why are they thinking of you. Or maybe you're the loved one that they lost. Maybe this is an X. Take it however it resonates, but let's clarify this first. Strength reversed. I think it has got something to do with health. So, maybe they're thinking of you because they found out that they're sick, they have some sort of a disease that they don't know how to disclose to you. Yeah, that's what I'm sensing. Or maybe there is some sort of an emotion. Oh my god. This person is depressed. I'm sensing that this person would like to commit suicide, or is considering to commit suicide. Strength reverse uh, is a strength, is endurance, strength. Reverse weakness, wanting to give in, something that they can no longer endure, they can no longer take. Loss. There is something that they think that 
since they lost it or they lost that person, they'd rather die. That's what I'm sensing. Like they can give in any time. And that's the reason why they're why they are thinking of you. Maybe you're the type of person who will not consider what they're thinking. They will not consider suicide. And it seems like I'm s maybe there is some sort of confusion on his part as to how you handle the trials in your life yourself. How come you're still happy perhaps or still positive about, about your life? And how come he cannot grasp that type of mentality, that type of mindset in his situation? That's what I'm sensing here. What do you need to do about this? This is sad. What do you need to do? Okay, this one has a note. Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands is aiming at one goal constantly, unstoppably. And um, um, unstoppably. Unstop in a stop unstoppable way. So it's like you're just aiming for that goal. You don't have time for anything else. So it seems like the cards are saying or the cards are advising you to focus your attention to this person. Maybe this person tried to open up to you, but you just dismissed them. Or you just cracked a joke and make them laugh, but they didn't. And they felt like you're not willing to listen to their concern. So nine of ones try to focus your attention and your time to this person. Better late than never. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, three of ones reversed. So try again. Three of ones reverses failure and then you try again. So yeah, page of ones miscommunication. So maybe there is something that you said that Instead of trying to lighten up the mood, it worsened their depression, their negativity in life. So if you're hearing or if you're sensing that this person feels bad about what you said, that you think, I was just kidding, that was just a joke. But for them, it's not. They didn't take it that way. Then try to try again to reach out to this person focus on their situation because I'm sensing that this person is seriously depressed about something especially if they've lost a, uh, a person in their family or a loved one so you have to try again to reconnect with this person or communicate with this person and this time be serious about listening to their concerns now, let's see what, what's the possible outcome if we're going to do just that. Okay, okay. Calm down. Queen of Swords reversed. The dismissive, honest, and frank queen. And why is the Queen of Swords here? The devil. There is, um, if you're going to do just, uh, you know, if you're going to focus your attention to this person, try not to interrupt them when they're talking or try to be seriously attentive to whatever they want to say. You will be able to, to, it seems like you will be able to cut off whatever restriction that they are putting in their mind or whatever restriction that they think they have it seems like only through you he will be able to see the situation in a different angle like they think they are tied up to something negative they think that they are tied up to something totally um inescapable but it's not it's like 
this is just in their own minds. And you are the only person who can actually point it out to them that no, the choice is still yours. You just have to execute this plan. And there's nothing that's stopping you but yourself and your mindset. I think that's what you need to say to this person. And if there's a need to apologize for being rash, for being saying something that you thought was funny but it actually isn't, do so. So there. That's for you, number four. And if you like the part of the video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Now let's proceed to the people who chose number five. So, the five who's thinking about you right now and why. I chose number five. <clears throat> Who's thinking about you and why? This card wants to come up. Page of Swords. So, again, Page of Swords, that would be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So, the the eldest will be Aquarius, Gemini, and this, is, this might be a Libra. A Libra who is a s spying on you. Page of Swords is this talker card. So, <clears throat> clarify the Page of Swords, please. Why is this person spying on or thinking about number five? Seven of Wands. Because he's not giving up about what? Bottom of the card, King of Wands reversed. King of Wands reversed, Eight of Pentacles, Four of Swords reversed. Hmm. He's thinking about you, number five, because he doesn't want to give up. This is a person who's childish. They don't like it when they don't get their way. They're very honest, frank, in a very immature way. Like, yes, they're honest. Yes, they're frank. You, you get what you deserve with this person, but sometimes whatever it is that they're trying to say, it makes you cringe. Because they're not supposed to say that. But it's in their nature to say whatever it is that they want to say. And they're not giving up on what? On you? On their connection towards you? And to clarify that, why? Ace of Cups. They do not like that their emotion towards you will be dismissed. Because you're walking away. Who is this? I the only one who's a Libra. Uh, not for me, I guess. Anyway. What do you need to do about this, number five? Advice, two of swords. If you've decided upon something uh, about how you want to handle them, how you want to be treated, how you want them to treat you, go for it. Page of Cups upright. Make them learn what they have to learn, especially when it comes to their treatment towards you. Because again, Page of Swords is a very childish um, uh, air sign, particularly a Libra. So in this case, maybe number five, you have to make sure that they know their place. You have to make sure that they respect that you call the shots. For some reason, that's what I'm saying. Because Page of Swords is someone who will cut off whatever it is that they like in order to get their way. 
if it's reversed, this is someone who's going to cut off whatever they like, whoever they like to get their way, but their goal is negative. But Page of Swords Upright, this is someone who's going to cut off whoever, whatever, to get their way because they know it's going to be beneficial for it. a whole lot of people. That's what I'm sensing. And you need to make them slow down or maybe transform them into this page of cups. Wherein they're going to offer whatever it is that they have and then have allow you to decide whether you like it or not. Because this page of swords is someone who's just going to tell you, this is what I got, this is what I'm going to offer. You don't like it? Why? And then they're going to ask. And then try to re-emphasize why they, they have to, why you have to accept whatever it is that they're offering. With Page of Cups, it's like, it's up to you. This is what I got. And it seems like you have to transform them into this. Into knowing their place, knowing that they do not necessarily call the shots all the time when it comes to you. Now, if you're going to do just that, possible outcome is the world part. Accomplishment, completion. So there will be a change in the situation and both of you are going to uh, proceed to the next level of the relationship or the connection. It doesn't resonate to me. <laughs> anyway, um, that's for you, number five. If you like the part of the video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Now, let's proceed to number six. Excuse me. <clears throat> okay, now, so let's proceed to number six. Now, for the people who chose number six, <clears throat> who's thinking of you right now? And Wheel of Fortune. So it's either this is someone who brought major change in your life or someone who or someone that you've changed their life so um, if you're going to take a look at this wheel of fortune this can be any of the four this person might be an Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio or Leo so take it however it resonates now let's see why are they thinking of you Why are they thinking of you? Wheel of Fortune, because you've changed their situation. So, this can be someone who had been poor, and because of your of their connection to uh, with you, they their financial or social st status changed. Or maybe they've been rich and you are the reason why their financial status flopped or failed maybe their business uh, stopped because you were a very ruthless competitor take it however it resonates now let's see here what do you need to do about this person Eight of Pentacles reversed. Do not exert any effort for this um, towards this person, whatever it is that they want. Or maybe try to teach this person a new skill, a new 
talent perhaps? No, talent cannot be taught. Yeah, a new skill or train them to be something else that you think will be advantageous to them. Just do not try to... Uh, do, do not try to endure any heavy negativity from this person. So if this person is someone who's overly demanding and maybe in the in the past you tend to say yes to whatever request that they got and then wheel of fortune came in like suddenly you've changed they can no longer get whatever they want from you it seems like they they still want to try cuz maybe you you've changed again <laughs> back to the usual a uh, person that they've known but as an advice eight of pentacles is work this is something that um, after all of the hard work that you've given you're not getting anything from it it's like it's not worth the effort type of card so in this case plus the weakness or the i mean the strength reversed there's a big possibility that if you're going to give in and try to help them again, they're going to see it as a, as a weakness. And then take advantage of it. So there, take it however it resonates. Now, if you're going to do just that, you know, try to maybe train them into something. Uh, or give, uh, give them a chance to train themselves to muster some sort of a new skill, a new technique on their approach in their business. You know, make them help themselves and not spoon feed them with whatever it is that they want. If you're going to do that, possible outcome, lovers reversed. So there will no longer be an indecision in the connection or in the, in the situation. There will be no need for you to, you know, to analyze the situation every time this person comes and seek your help. There's, there, there will be no need for you to evaluate the request if it's valid or not. Just give them something to work on. And if they succeeded, good. If they did not, you've given them their chance. They're making their own fortune. It should not rely on you. So there. That's for you, number six. If you like the part of the video, please like, share, comment, and now for the people who chose number seven okay. for the people who chose number seven who's thinking about you right now and the fool this is for some reason I would like to clarify this part. Someone would like to take a risk or go to an adventure, explore things, people, or places that they've never been to, they've never met, they've never experienced. Now, why are they thinking about you? Three of Wands reversed. So, this is the try again card. So maybe before the two of you took a risk about something, went somewhere, met someone, and it failed. Whatever the purpose of the the risk, maybe it failed. And um, now that this person's got another chance to, to do it again, then maybe he or she is thinking about you so he can drag you along. If you would like to try again. Now what do you need to do about that? Is it practical to try it again with this person? Okay, no. Because there are details hidden from you. About this this goal, this adventure. And it will be revealed to you in time. And I think it has got something to do with... Let's see. The sun... Hmm. Clarify the sun, please. 
I place this reversed. Outshining you. There is something that this person is going to do to make you mad, to make you, you know, act irrationally. And after you do that, they're going to outshine you because you're, you've been uh, ruled by your temper. You have been ruled by your anger. It seems like they want to drag you along so that they can show the world that they are better than you. Take it however it resonates. And please comment down below if I'm reading this correctly. Or if this resonates to you. I'm not saying reading it correctly. I'm reading it intuitively. There's no correct or wrong in intuition, uh, in intu intuitive reading, especially it's general. What am I saying? Anyway, so, yeah. That's what I'm sensing here. They want to drag you along, and then they're going to do something behind your back. It will be revealed to you. You will get angry. You will no longer be unfocused on whatever goal that you you have for yourself and then they can outshine you so do not be this high priest this reversed so if you're angry calm down decide a while you're calm and do not decide when you're irritable and when you're irrational and if you're going to do just that okay this card jumped up possible outcome you will be able to let go and move on from the disappointment that this person is trying to plan. So there. That's for you, number seven. If you like the part of the video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And let's proceed to number eight. Okay, number eight. What is this? Uh, who is thinking of you right now? And why? For some reason, I would like to choose nine. Okay, who's thinking about you, number eight? King of Pentacles reversed. Possibly a Capricorn. And why is this Capricorn... Um, Thinking about you. Possible reason is Queen of Pentacles reverse. You, this person is seeing you as his um, other. Uh, I mean, your what do you call that? As their counterpart. So if he's the king, you are the queen. But he's in reverse. So there's a possibility that this Capricorn or whoever. This may be, um, this is someone who's not financially stable, someone who does not know how to handle their finances, their life in general. They don't have a plan for their future. They're like trying to live their life day by day without any stable plan. And um, they're thinking of you because... They are in awe as to how you handle yourself, your situation, how come you're very established, how come you, you can manage on your own. And there is some sort of a, an envy thing that I'm sensing here. Maybe uh, they want you to need the, them, but you don't. And they don't seem to like it. You're on your element. You're, you're you're the queen of pentacles. You 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 manifest your own mag your magic and um you whatever it is that you work hard on or you work yeah whatever it is that you focus your attention on it grows and it it just transforms into something very useful and very nurture nurturing so. They don't understand how you do that. How come they can't? So maybe they're trying. They're thinking of you because they are analyzing you. How do you handle that situation? 
And what do you need to do about this person? Five of Swords. <laughs> Disregard. That's so harsh. But um, Five of Swords is the fight argument card. So um, this is someone who's totally different from your point of view. Who's got a mindset that is totally different from yours. So it's best to not get involved with this person. You might get cut. Yeah. You might get hurt. So, clarify the five of swords, please. Why do they need to disregard the person thinking about them? The devil. Oh, okay. So, there's the control issue. So, maybe they want... They're thinking about you. Whatever it is that you, you can control on your own, it seems like they want to control it themselves. It seems like I'm supposed to be the one handling that for you or for us. How come you're not needing me? How come you're, you're being successful on your own? You don't need me. How come? And then they go, there's a big possibility that they're going to control you, your finances, your situation, so that you will need them. So that whatever decision you're going to make, you will rely on them, you will depend on them. But you're already in your own element, so you, there's no need for that. So yeah, try to disregard whoever this may be. I'm, I'm sensing this is an ex-husband, perhaps, or... or for some reason, a jealous older brother. <laughs> that's what I'm. That's what just popped into my mind. So yeah, do not allow this person to control you, especially if you, even if you're multitasking, you've got everything in control. Especially if you're a Virgo. So yeah, take it however it resonates. Now, if you're going to do just that, possible outcome is you know try to manifest your magic possible outcome is there will be delays or cancellations you know possible intentional misplacement of things in order for you not to proceed as you planned in order to sabotage your goals so that is expected since this is the devil so maybe you're in, uh, involved with the Capricorn so Clarify Six of Swords, two verses, Knight of Wands. So, expect that they're going to sabotage whatever goals that you're going to have in the future. Especially if you insist to work on your own and try not to allow them to control you. But the advantage of this is that the more they sabotage you, the more you'll have the reason not to trust them. And the more you'll have the reason to get away from them. And live happily on your own. Not committed to the connection with them. Not committed to any situation that they want you to be in. It's like you've sabotaged my past goal. How come I, you want me to trust you? They cannot argue with that. The more reason they are going to give you to hate them, the more, re, the more they cannot stop you from leaving. So it's like allow them to, you know, just disregard whatever it is that they want to do in order to control you. Because you can actually disregard them. You can actually sabotage their sabotaging you. <laughs> so that's what I'm sensing here. Bottom of the card. Two of pentacles. Ten of cups. So the sabotage may also lead to you being on a tight budget. But 
if it means being in an emotionally secured environment, being away from them, so be it. So yeah. There. That's for you, number eight. If you like the part of the video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Now, <clears throat> for the people who chose number nine. Who's thinking of you? Anyway. Number nine, who's thinking of you right now? And why? The chariot, someone from a faraway place, a traveler. This is the card of a cancer also. <clears throat> someone who loves horses, perhaps, or someone who loves to drive. Um... Someone who wants to lead or wants to to drive or wants to steer the, the situation based on wherever they think you must go. So, let's see why. I can think of a person. Things like that. Okay, let's see why are they thinking of Eight of Wands reversed. Maybe this is someone that you've been communicating constantly in the past, but now you no longer have any contact. Ah, okay. I have someone in mind now. And um, <clears throat> maybe they're thinking about reaching out again, reconnect with you. Or maybe try to invite you to go somewhere because this person loves to travel. Now, let's see what do you need to, to know about this person. Okay, fine, let's do that. What do you need to know about this person? Nine of Cups, this person is your wish fulfillment. Or maybe you are this person's wish fulfillment. Anyway, what do you need to do about this situation? Four of Cups, do not allow anything that has been offered to you. Or do not accept anything that has been offered to you if it's something that you do not want, especially emotionally. So if you're not emotionally secured about whatever this person is offering, if this is someone that you know in your heart that you cannot live with, or maybe there is some sort of a condition that this person is tr trying to give you and you're not having it, then say no. And also, walk up, do not hesitate to walk away from this person if this person is too different from you. Five of Swords reversed. This is someone who's... Um, argument is five of swords if it's reversed this is someone who's trying to come back but there's a big possibility that depending on the surrounding parts though there's a big possibility that this person is trying to come back and argue again this time trying to to give you their point of view in a different approach in a different angle so as an advice, you have to be aware that this person is going to try a different angle to to reconnect with you. Because uh, the communication part is reversed. So maybe this is someone that you've blocked on social media. I've blocked a lot of people on social media, so I don't know which among them is thinking of me. Anyway, maybe you've blocked them on your social media. Maybe this person is trying to give you condition that you know you cannot accept another um, one scenario that came into mind is maybe this person offered you to be his or her third party maybe this person is not monogamous 
they want you to be their mistress, they want you to be the second boyfriend, whatever, boy toy, whatever. And you're not having it because you're the committed type. So, yeah, it's like, say no if you're not comfortable to the offer. Because this person is going to reconnect. This person is going to try to look for your profile again, perhaps, and try to send a message. Now, if you're going to do just that, you know, stand your ground, that, that is not what I want. You're offering me the uh, exact opposite thing of the thing that I want for myself. If you're going to be that, be firm about what you want, then the possible outcome is page of ones. There's good news. Maybe this person would like to come up with a compromise. And King of Cups. Emotional stability in this situation will prevail. So maybe before this person was like, you can't provide me what I want. We have, we have two different opinions on specific things. Then there's no point in, you know, continuing this connection and then you disconnect it but then now they're thinking about you and want to reconnect with you again and it seems like this time this person is going to compromise still it didn't resonate, <laughs> it didn't resonate. yeah anyway that's for you number nine and if you like the part of the video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Now, let's proceed to the people who chose number 10. Now, for the people who chose number 10, who's thinking of you right now? And why? Who's thinking of you, Ace of Cups? Someone that you love or someone who loves you? And why are they thinking about you? They are hoping for the best for the two of you to happen. Now, what do you need to do about this person or this situation? Judgment of right. Try to reevaluate your connection from the past up until now. Maybe there's an idea from the past that is trying to come back. Right now, maybe there a, a resurrected idea, a resurrected opinion about this person. Try to evaluate that. And clarifying judgment is the Knight of Pentacles. Evaluation is judgment. And the, the Knight of Pentacles is evaluation and analyzation of each and every angle of a situation. So yeah, maybe this person is, well, if you'll notice, the cup is overflowing. So maybe this person is just too eager to start a relationship with you, to reconnect with you. And, but there is something about your past together, your past connection, it seems like this is trying to screech at you that this old idea, this old opinion about them, they, it's trying to get your attention. That you have to reconsider, you have to, you have to analyze this part of his personality first, this part of his life first before you try to say, before you decide on anything. And then it's being reiterated by the Knight of Pentacles, which is the slowest decision maker in the deck. Now, if you're going to do just that, you know, try to reevaluate your past connection or this person's reputation, however it applies in the situation. Possible outcome, Five of Cups. Seems like there is something that you have to accept about this person because it's not something that you can change. But it's something that you don't need to worry about. It's something that you... There's something about him that you should reconsider. Um, 
first, it's like you have to evaluate how are you going to handle this person when they're in that situation. But it's not something major. It's not something that you should, you know, try to bear in your mind in order for you to disconnect completely with this person. It's something that, what, what I'm, if I'm going to put out, put out an uh, example, uh, maybe the person is someone who dislikes um, I don't know cats and then you love cats so it's not something that totally important maybe you're not that obsessed with cats you're not that in love with cats and um Maybe you, maybe you have to reconsider your connection because because of that. And just a moment, I'm trying to figure out how to say this. It's it's like because he does not like cats. You're thinking, maybe you're overthinking, you're anxious that you're not going to have cats, ever. But maybe this is something that you should bring up again. Some, the idea that you have to re resurrect, a re blah, resurrect with this person. Like, you know, try to remind them you're hoping for the best. For the two of us, but I have to remind you, you hate cats and I love them. So maybe this person is going to compromise. Maybe this person is going to, you know, out of his or her overflowing love for you, he's going to reconsider the situation. It's not something that you can, you can decide upon immediately. Nah, they don't like cats. We're not going to work, period. That's not the case. It's something that you can talk about and come up with a compromise. And, um, or come up with a compromise with. It's not something major. But you're thinking that it's something major. It's something serious. It's like a deal breaker. You think it's a deal breaker, but this is actually something that this person can overlook out of his or her love for you. So, yeah, that's all I can see here. So maybe all you have to do is just bring up, uh, bring up that topic, that issue again. Remind this person that if you're thinking about having a connection with me or a relationship with me, I must remind you, you hate cats and I love them. So how are we going to work that out? And then maybe you'll be surprised that this person was like, okay, I'm going to say yes to your cat. So there. That's for you number 10. And if you like the part of the video or the rest of the video, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for topics like this, or I mean topics for choose a number readings like this, um, try to comment down below. And I guess that'll be all. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.